Hello, welcome back to Mike's Mindful Minutes. I haven't done one of these in a while and uh, I figured it was time to do one. So what has been going on in my shop? Well, if you stayed up, up to date on my videos, the past three or four videos has been pretty decent. Um, Valentine's Day card went over very well with my wife. She really liked the project. And I also entered that project in on Instructables website on their Valentine's Day challenge. So hopefully I can win some cool prizes. I'll put a link down below if you don't mind. Go over there and vote for me. I'd appreciate it. And uh, hopefully I can win some cool prizes. I also entered a plywood project challenge on Instructables. Uh, I entered my little Tetris puzzle box, and uh, that seems to be going over pretty well as well. So if you don't mind, I'll put a link in the description below and go over and vote for me on that one. Um, I would love to win that uh, router uh, combo kit that they got going there. That'd be awesome. Speaking of routers, on my X-Carve, I installed the Bosch Cult today on the X-Carve. And let me tell you what, that is a huge different from the standard spindle that I had. It's a lot faster, it cuts a hell of a lot cleaner, and with the new router, the new bit on there, huge difference, without a doubt. Um, I cut two of these with the old spindle in an hour. I cut four of them today in 30 minutes. So a huge difference in quality, uh, quality of cut, time of cut. Uh, so if you have the old standard spindle, this guy right here that makes too much noise and is way too loud and is slow as hell, go get something else. Go get a Bosch Colt, go get a DeWalt, go do something else other than that standard spindle because I'm telling you, it's going to save you time and a lot of headaches. Upgrade your spindle. Um, why did I make four more of these? Well, uh, because they're on my website for sale. I had a couple viewers email me saying, hey, will you make me one? And then like a few minutes later, I got a couple more. And next thing you know, I got an order of like 12 of these things. So I do have them for sale on my website. Uh, I will leave a link in the description where you can go to buy one of these if you want one. I lay in the video the router, uh, rigid router, crap, the rigid <laughs> sander uh, knob video. I showed you three ways to make one of these. Uh, I showed you a CNC option if you have a CNC machine. I showed you a scroll saw option if you have a scroll saw. And I showed you the simplest method ever, the drill press and coping saw method. Um, three different ways to make the exact same thing. Um, so I don't think I'm being greedy about selling these. I think that uh, if you just don't want to make one and you want somebody else to do it for you, that's what I'm here for. And I will make one for you if you want, but I am going to charge you. <laughs> um, at least get my material money back and my time and shipping back. That's pretty much all I ask for. Um, but if you do want one, I do have them for sale. They are on my website and the link will be below. While I'm on the topic of the sander I had a viewer ask me about the uh, dust collection uh, what I uh, how I hooked the four inch dust collector up to it let me show you the sander itself has a two inch dust collector uh, port on the back and I made this guy to accept my four inch dust collecting hose all it is is two pieces of plywood glued together. I drilled a two inch hole in the middle and then I put it on the um, wood lathe and trued it up and everything and got it, excuse me, 
got it down to fit my dust collector hose. Uh, of course, I made it a pinch too small. That's why there's electrical tape on here just to make up that difference. Plus, it kind of holds that hose on there quite well. So this just stays on the sander all the time, and when I need to put the dust collector up there, I just put it on there. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this before, the KISS drill bit system, that guy right there. Steve Carmichael sent me that uh, about two months ago, maybe. And uh, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but thank you very much, Steve. I appreciate that. Uh, in Kansas City, I won a Craig K4 system, and I sent Steve my old K4, and uh, he kind of had the same situation with the KISS drill bit system. He already had one, he won one as a prize, and he sent me his old system. So I very much appreciate that, Steve. Um, the Valentine's Day card project, that turned out really well. My wife really liked that, and I think that's the only project that she's ever taken to work to actually show off to her uh, workmates, uh, co-workers, whatever you want to call them. Um, so I was pretty flattered about that. Uh, she really liked that project, and I think it turned out really well, too. I think the finish, the paint, and that extra little inlay with the Paduk just set that project off. And I also entered that project on Instructables website, which I'll put a link down below for that as well. Um, I entered a Valentine's Day project contest and uh, you know most votes wins type situation so if you don't mind go over to their uh, site and vote for me I'd appreciate that I also entered a uh, plywood contest as well I put my Tetris puzzle box in there and uh, that seems to be going over pretty well too so I'll put that link down there below and if you don't mind vote for me um, what else? The pen. Oh man, I got a lot of heat on that one. The checkered pattern pen. Um, a lot of people really wanted the the blank process filmed. Well, I'm sorry, I didn't film it. <laughs> Quite honestly, I didn't even know I was making a checkered pattern pen that day. And I was just playing around with some glue ups, testing a few different things while the CNC machine was running. And that's what I came up with. And the next thing I know, this thing is gonna be cool. And shame on me, I didn't film it. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I will probably go back someday and film that. Uh, but for now on my website, I do have at least instructions how I came up with that blank. And I think with the instructions, there should be pretty clear. If not, just email me and I'll answer any questions you got. Um, vacation, March. I am going to Bahamas. Uh, the wife and the kids and I are going to the Bahamas. I can't wait. Um, I, I really, when we started planning the uh, Disney stuff last about this time last year really um, she wanted to go to Disney World I really really didn't want to go um, I thought the kids was they were old enough to go by all means but I kind of wanted them to be a little older where I didn't have to babysit them all day they're not old enough where I can just let them loose and you know they can do their thing we can do our thing and you know, everybody wins. So I was kind of really not wanting to go to Disney World. Uh, both of my kids are at that stage where, you know, if they have to work too hard, it's, it, it's too hard to do anything. <laughs> if any of you have 12 and 13 year olds, you, you understand. Um, but we are decided not to go to Disney World and decided to take a Disney cruise instead I think that was a much better option for us. Uh, the cruise has all sorts of stuff going on on the ship itself. Plus it's two days in the Bahamas. 
I mean, how can you go wrong with that? Um, so we got the beach, the sun, the weather. The, oh, I can't wait. Uh, so I am <laughs> trying to save some money. Uh, so the next few weeks, if not the next month or so, um, it'll be smaller projects just to cut down on some cost. Uh, you know, smaller projects. <laughs> um, if you would like to support me, um, I don't mention this a whole lot, but if you would like to support my shop, uh, at least what I do here, uh, I do have a Patreon page. I do have a, uh, uh, the fan funding on YouTube. And, uh, you know, I do little things like this where you could buy and uh, help support what I do here. Uh, I don't mention that a whole lot because, uh, well, I just don't feel like I need to. Um, I think if you want to support me, the biggest thing you could do for me to support me is share, like, and comment on my videos. Um, right now, that's the biggest thing anybody can do for me. Um, but if you would like to donate to my cause here, I would certainly appreciate it. Uh, Patreon, fan, f fan funding, um, you know, little projects like this, uh, that always helps. So um, there's that. That's really, I think, all I got for you. It's going to be kind of um, quiet from me for a little while uh, I'll get something out every now and then just to keep you updated or at least throw something in there every now and then um, but until I get back from vacation and um, start planning my Atlanta trip in April because I want to go to Atlanta uh, I had such a good time at woodworking in America last year I want to do it again this year in Atlanta with everybody else so I think that would be super fun um, so, I think that's all I got. Uh, if this is your first time here, I thank you for stopping by, and I encourage you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Uh, also, hit that thumbs up button. I uh, appreciate that, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the link below. And until next time, I will see you later.